Okay, so this is Supreme Ultra. This is an unofficial RetroPie build uh, from the Supreme team, and they do a really good job on these, and uh, they do work incredibly well. I've deliberately booted it up without a USB stick at the moment, but one of my favorite things, you can install it to an SSD drive and it works without you having to configure anything. So this is running from 120 gig Kingdian SSD, so a very cheap SSD uh, with a cheap SATA to USB 3 cable, uh, and I'll put links in the description to all of those. So we head into the Pixel desktop and show you what the desktop looks like, because I can also show you my overclock settings. Okay, so this is the desktop you get with this build, and uh, as you can see, PyKiss has been added, which is really good, uh, because it means you can add loads of things to it, especially emulation and also games. I know there's a lot of emulation within there anyway, but uh, one of the things that's not included in this, but you can install, is the Dolphin emulator, which is uh, basically Wii and GameCube, and actually works very well. Uh, it's surprisingly good. So there's various things on that that we haven't had before. Uh, we've also got uh, different games on there as well, and some of these are full games. Things like Mario 64, Revolt, uh, Duke Nukem 3D are all installable in this desktop environment, so that's great. So let's have a look in Terminal and show you my overclock settings because I think I've got NeoFetch on here. So it says 2394, but I'm actually overclocked to 2200. I thought I'd give it a try. I'm using my uh, 52 pi stacking case, uh, which has got some very good cooling on it, and I thought I'd give it a try and see how well it copes with 2.2. We go into uh, boot config.txt, and I put it near the top. So over voltage of 8, because this is my 8 gig pi, and it seems to need a bit more power, 2200 and 750. And, uh, and I've been trying it out and it seems to work very, very well. Now this comes with pretty much everything installed uh, from the emulation side of it, from RetroPie, uh, all the experimental, uh, all the standard packages, everything is all on there, which is really nice to see. I don't think there's a lot in this environment compared to, uh, say for instance, Monkers, but oh, well, we've got a Chromium Media Edition, so we've got good Netflix, um, things like Disney+, Plus, Spotify, and things like that will work in it, good YouTube support as well. So graphics, games, so Steam Link is there, but it's also in the uh, RetroPie environment as well. So let's reboot and go back into the RetroPie environment. Okay, so let's go through what's on here and what shows up without a USB stick in. So I've not added any ROMs to this at all. The only ones that seem to come in it are the Auric ones, uh, which is, you often find these in the RetroPie Supreme Team builds. Uh, I guess it's just something to try. But what I'll do is just plug in my USB stick, which is a 128 gig USB stick with a load of ROMs on it, because it is supported straight away. So if you have a USB stick, and I've got videos on this on how to create a USB stick with RetroPie underscore mount, uh, and then put all your ROMs in the right folders, and you'll actually find that they show up uh, when you get it to search for them. So uh, what's weird is that Things show up, like Pixel shows up, Chromium and things like that, they show up now. So if I restart this now, so restart emulation station, what it will do is it will pick up uh, my USB stick and you'll see it will start to add loads of ROMs in there. Yeah, you can see loads of things coming in there. And now you see more systems. So things like N64 that wasn't there before, PSP, uh, Sega Saturn. So let's try N64 because uh, it's something that on the Pi 4 sometimes some of the games don't run that well, uh, and Mario Tennis is a game that I've had trouble running before. Okay, so you can see when you start the game, you get all this artwork on the side, uh, around the edge of the screen. Uh, you also, for a lot of things, would get a dual display, uh, and they get you, there is an option, uh, I was told, that you can pick what type of second display you get. So if you've got an arcade cabinet, the type of artwork that is displayed uh, is configurable. And I don't know how to do that, but I was told that that's something that's been added in this version. Uh, but I've only got one screen set up. So let's go straight into a game, and as I say, I've, I've played this before and it was really slow on the Pi 4, but it works brilliantly on this. And it is running at quite a low resolution, but it's full screen and it looks pretty decent. There you go. So you can see everything looks good. The sound is decent as well. It's, uh, it doesn't seem to be breaking up or anything. From what I can hear from my speaker, I've got it very loud. So let's quit out of that. Okay, so this is Off-Road Challenge. 
Uh, so let's just go straight in. Again, you can see the artwork around the outside. Looks really nice. Sound print seems pretty decent. Oh, it's twitchy. Yeah, speed seems very good again. Yeah, it definitely feels like like it's fast. Uh, on some of them, you can you can get in and show the frame skip. For some reason, it, it just the menu where you press the two uh, thumbsticks to get into the menu to turn on frame skip doesn't seem to work on the N64. I'm sure there's a way of doing it, but uh, I think. Uh, on certain, what is that? Where did that train come from? Uh, so some things you can see when they're running right, and this does seem to be uh, running at the right speed for me. So let's try something else. So let's show you why, uh, one of the reasons why this is so good. If I go into options and uh, go to RetroPie Setup. Now, all of the things that are in here, so if you go into Manage Packages, and we go to, say, Manage Experimental Packages, everything is installed so you can see here that as I as I switched out pretty much everything is installed so we can see it by loads of different things so things like uh, this Beatles Saturn emulator Desmium all sorts of things are already on there uh, and if I go back so there's optional packages it's all pretty much in there so as you can see loads of things are pre-installed so let's go back out of that and go back into the main system. And let's give Dreamcast a try because Dreamcast is always very impressive. So what have we got that I don't usually try? Speed Devils, do I know what Speed Devils is? Oh yeah, I have tried this in another video, I think. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, graphics look decent. Right, so Accelerate is the triggers. And, oh, it's analog. I've been playing around with the um, the dead spot on the controller because my Xbox 360 controller has got a bit of a dead spot on it and it sometimes does steer to one side and in RetroArch there is a you can tw you can toggle it so it basically stops veering from one side to another so let's have a look and see if we can apply frame rate to this uh, so games input video frame rate counter so it looks like I've only got V blanks per second uh, which is there so let's apply that and go back into the game. Okay, well it's not it's not frames per second. Whoa. Oh, what's going on now? I've got some super <laughs> How has this happened? Okay, I don't know what I changed there, but uh, it is running ridiculously fast, way, way too fast. How does it have the ability to play this at <laughs> at this speed. I don't know what I turned on there. Let's have a look and see video. Why is, no, frame skip was, was the same. That, was, that hasn't changed. Let's go back in and see. So even with frame skip off, now I'd say that's probably too fast, isn't it? But that's impressive that that goes as fast as it does. I don't, I don't know why. So say I'm overclocked to 2200. So let's try another game. So the Supreme Team tend to uh, put everything in this build, but also they tend to tweak everything. And uh, you'd sometimes find that they definitely get better performance on certain emulators because they spend so much time trying to tailor it to the pie. And uh, it really does show up in a lot of these builds. So let's have a look at different themes that come in it. So UI settings, theme set. So. We've got Slick Tech, which it comes default on, or this did anyway. So Supreme Floyd. Let's see what that looks like. I must have tried this one before. So you can see everything moves to the middle, and we get this. I like the way they put this history in here. Like, so on the links, you've got uh, like an advert on there and uh, various details about it. Commodore 64. 
Dreamcast, Game Gear. Yeah, nice looking theme. So we also have, so this is Supreme Retro. I like this theme, I've had this theme in other videos I do. So nothing changes on the outsides, but, uh, but it's nice artwork and it's a lovely sort of retro feel to it. Carbon, oh this is the standard one, isn't it? They did mention that you could have the default retro pie, so this is as it comes, uh, but with all the extras that they add in. So they give you the option to have this more basic style and it is pretty straightforward and, and does the job and it's nice and clear so I can see why people like it. So let's go with UI settings. Was that the last one? Super sweet. I don't think I've had super sweet before. Oh yeah, I have had that on a build before. It's nice as well. I think Supreme Floyd is probably the one I like the most because I like the images that come on the outside. Yeah, very nice, very good work. So let's try another emulator. Uh, let's try PSP, which tends to work really well on Pi 4. Let's go with God of War, which is particularly hard to run. The sound seems very good on the intro. Okay, so let's put FPS on. So we're at 50. Got a bit of slowdown happening that if it's meant to be running at 50 FPS. But I'm not noticing it so much on the screen. So say, there are so many things you can change on this. But uh, to have it full screen and working as well as it's working, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, very good. So let's quit out of that. Let's try something else in PPSSPP. Let's go back to menu and see what else we've got. I always do GTA. Actually, let's do GTA. I really like GTA. So let's show how that works. So this runs at 30 FPS. Again, full screen. Always pains me to have to turn off the music on this game because it's an amazing soundtrack. Yeah, that feels good. Feels nice and fast. You can see it's at a steady 30 FPS. I've lost my direction here. Where am I getting out? This way? Yeah, it's this way. Ooh. Yeah, I'm happy with the speed of that. That seems very good. And it's nice to see it full screen performing as well as it is. Okay, so another great build by Supreme Retro Gaming. Uh, so this is Supreme Ultra, and uh, it should be available fairly soon to download. Uh, I guess you'll get it on Arcade Punks. I don't know where else they post it, but I'll let people know when it's available. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.